But today we will talk about brain tumors. Uh, uh, brain tumors are of several kinds and one need not be nihilistic about it. Broadly, they are defined into two varieties, the uh, benign tumors, which in most cases are completely curable, and the malignant varieties, which although may not be curable, uh, can be controllable for several years in some cases. So all brain tumors need an early diagnosis and, uh, and appropriate treatment so that they can uh, have a longer and better life. Uh, the signs and symptoms are very difficult. They can be quite ubiquitous and uh, sometimes difficult to diagnose. And often in India, uh, the diagnosis of these tumors occur very late. A focal deficit, which means either loss of speech, movement, vision of any part of the body, or epileptic fits. And a combination of these usually uh, leads the doctor to suspect a brain tumor. And when this happens, then uh, it requires an MRI or CT scan to diagnose what kind of a tumor this is. In the majority of cases, these will need surgery to remove the tumors, and surgery is a matter of great precision and uh, aids to this technology include the brain suite and uh, we were the first in Asia to actually use the brain suite which is a high field intraoperative MRI which uh, adds to a navigation system so that you can uh, have complete accuracy in, in locating these tumors. In 30% of cases across the world and our own experience is that it is found that residual tumor is left and the surgeon changes in his intraoperative decision. Once surgery is completed successfully, then uh, there is a period of intensive care where the patients are monitored by specialists who are qualified in this field. And once we get a pathology report for which you need a neuropathologist and today's medicine means molecular checking of these tumors to see what is their behavior going to be and then the patient may require radiation therapy, cyber knife therapy, may require chemotherapy of different kinds to get the best outcome. Uh, new things which we have started is something called ALA dye. This is really molecular surgery because this dye then uh, for certain kinds of tumors it goes inside the cell and it colors the cell a different color uh, compared to the normal brain. So you're able to remove these uh, tumors more radically and thereby give the patients a longer period of life. Uh, over the last five years, we have operated on more than 600 brain tumors here. And I'm happy to say that our results, are, which are just being analyzed, are very, very encouraging. And we feel that further research on this will be a part of our growth in this institute.